Sounds. Prism Sounds Orpheus is the award-winning multi-channel FireWire interface. With built-in mic pre's, unbeatable sound quality, state-of-the-art clock technology and low latency flexible monitoring, Orpheus is the ultimate interfacing solution. JG Harding here at IBC 2010 at Amsterdam. Uh, I'm here with Paul from Sound Devices, who's going to show us through their brand new uh, USB Pre interface. Okay, thank you. Yes, the um, USB Pre 2 is a portable, um, professional, high quality computer audio interface for Mac or PC. It's designed to be extremely robust, so it's using a solid metal chassis. The mic preamplifiers that we use have been improved over the previous USB Pre model. They are now based on the same topology as our 7 series recorders, which are very high quality, super low noise mic preamps. The, one of the big improvements over our previous model, USB Pre, is that now this uses class compliant drivers for both Mac and PC, which makes this a pretty much plug and play um, USB audio device without any issues of, uh, of operation with both Mac and PC. Sample rates go up to 192 kilohertz and do all standard rates 48, 44, 96, up to 192. So another very unique feature about this robust computer audio interface is the really accurate high quality metering. This is very unusual on a USB audio interface um, and it, this helps to give confidence to the user of the, the levels they're metering because not always is the computer application what you want to see and sometimes they can be sort of s meters on computer screens can be slow. The metering can actually be switched between monitoring the inputs or the PC playback and there's a switch here that does that. Now let's have a quick look at uh, connectivity. Here are the two mic preamps. Each mic input has phantom um, high pass filters, a pad, a 15 dB p pad and a limiters. And a limiter is a pretty unusual thing to have on a USB audio interface. There are also balance line inputs and consumer level line inputs. On the output side we have our USB audio connector for connecting to the computer and we have our balance line outputs and SPDIF in and out. So this makes a very good A to D, D to A converter as well as a great mic preamp. On the rear of the unit we have balanced XLR outputs which can be set to either mic or line output. So if you really want a high quality playback and robust playback interface from playing back from your computer, this is ideal. So this is, can be f ideal for many applications from store, sport to installation uh, to many portable applications. And they can also run as a standalone unit, can't they? That's it, correct, that? yes. So you do not need a computer to control this. But you, to run it in standalone mode, you still have to have a source of 5 volts. So you need a 5 volt, 500 milliamp uh, power source. So a couple of batteries with a USB plug on adapter would, could power this unit. And then we have a portable uh, mic preamp, A to D and D to A converter. So it's a pretty flexible tool. A Swiss Army knife of conversion. Excellent. I can see it would be useful for somebody doing yeah. recording location sound, for example. Uh, location sound, test and measurement, yeah. applications, acoustic measurements, uh, sports broadcast for where they're recording into a laptop but then want to very quickly send that signal via IP back to a studio. All these portable scenarios. Um, one thing which I haven't mentioned is this mix control. This can be used to monitor either the direct signal coming in, which is great for zero latency monitoring, or monitoring the playback signal coming back from the computer, um, or the, the, the loop signal coming back from the computer. You can mix between the two, so for overdubbing purposes, if you want to add a track to a backing track. So it can be used in a standard music environment as well. Um, so that's pretty much it. It's a very simple tool. There's no special software required. It's just plug and play into a Mac or a PC. And it's compatible with Max, Leopard and higher, so 10.5 and higher, yeah. and uh, PCs uh, XP and higher. 
And uh, do you have a UK price set yet? Yeah, it's around the 650 euro mark. Excellent. Well, thanks very much for taking us through. No problem.